welcome in the kitchen. I'm so glad y'all are here. And I've got company. Look who I've got. Howdy. We don't have microphones on. Can y'all hear us? We we can talk. We can talk like you're <laughs> like, like you're my Aunt Mary. My Aunt Mary, she she used to be a little hard of hearing. You had to Hey Aunt Mary. <laughs> hey. So Hey, um, Mary and Uncle Bert. You had to talk yeah. kind of loud, ain't Mary? Yeah, bless her. Uh-huh. Um, so, anywho, and she, you know, she used to ask the same question over and over and over because she had she, dementia. Yeah. And then she'd say, I've asked you that happened I before, and I'd say, yes, ain't Mary. She'd say, you know I'm crazy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> she yeah, just took it in that. stride. She knew she had dementia, and she just went with it and rolled with it and made everything fun. That's good. Yeah, she was. She's a little old bitty fasty thing. We learned things from doing this a couple of times. One, you have to charge the microphones. Which I thought I had. They'd been charging all night, but they did not work. And two, instead of using a bowl, you can actually sit this right on the scale. And I don't know why I didn't. That girl that I watched in Australia do this. That's what she that's did. That's what she did. She's smart. Um, but anyway, I'm going to put a link to her video down below y'all go watch her and give her some love and subscribe to her channel and help her out and do all those fun things that we do and sponsor us so we can go visit her yeah and i've got a a follower a fan that lives over there i'd like to visit too so if we can get a sponsor to sponsor us to go over there to meet these people we're all for it they probably want to meet us because you know fans and all true 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 it's really our duty to get out and meet our public that's true yeah. You know, the first person I ever met that had watched me yeah. was when I was caring for Martha here. And, and one of her therapists came in and she said, you made a key lime pie. And I went, I did make a key lime pie. Wow. She said, I saw you on YouTube. I said, oh, what about that? So I got really excited because it was like somebody that watched me that I didn't know. So that's kind of exciting. All right, so here we go. We're going to make pasta. Okay. Never done it before. Always That's a lie. <laughs> we already did it twice. No, we really haven't done the actual pasta making. Oh, we yeah, made the right. dough, and we kind of, you know, anyway. Learned, we, learned from that know, experience. We made it. We wrapped it in saran wrap, and it's resting. We'll use it in a minute. But I played the video back. I had no sound, so... Y'all want to hear us, right? Don't want to just sit here and go try to rip, lip read. So here we are, back again. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we're gonna make pasta. We're gonna make it in a food processor. Easy I peasy. We just get on with this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Easy peasy. Okay. Y'all hit the subscribe button for me. I love all y'all. We've got so many brand new subscribers. I'm just tickled to death. So y'all hit the subscribe button and hit the share button and let other people watch. And I'll love you forever, I promise. Okay, and I'm going to weigh this because the girl in Australia weighed this. The girl I watched. Um, got it on there, got it. To hit the and I'm going to hit the on button. Yeah. Zeroed out. And it's zeroed out. Where your eggs at? Right here's my eggs. All right. I do want to crack them in another little bowl here. All right. Just in case something were to be wrong with one of them. You know, you never know. Yeah. Or you might to get a piece of a shell or something. All right. And I'm not going to make as large a batch as I did a minute ago. Because, you know, I've got a large batch already. So I'm weighing this. That's Isn't one egg. How many eggs worth we doing in this batch? Uh, I think I'll do three yeah. eggs. Three. And I'll start with the eggs because your eggs are a weight that you, you can't yeah. really control. You sure you got enough flour for three eggs? Yeah, I think I do. Okay. All right, here we go. There's our three eggs. And we're at 5.7 ounces. All right, let me rinse off my fingers. My right. fingers. Get the egg off hit, of you tear that off and then you put in 5.7 All right, you remember 5.7. That's your right. job. Remember 5. that. 5.7. 5.7. Okay. 5.7. All right, we'll hit the tear button again. Now then. 
We're going in with semolina flour. We're going to use equal parts eggs, semolina flour, and all-purpose flour. We made a really good Beatles joke the first time around. I'm sorry y'all missed that. We'll go ahead and do it again. What? Uh, it's a, it's a one to one to one ratio. Yeah. It's like what was our number? Five point seven. Five point seven. Yeah. All right. You can just you know if you if you're a Beatles fan, it's like one and one and one make three. Five point two. Yeah. Five point five five. Yeah. Five six. There we go. Come. There five we go, seven. five seven, right on the money. Uh, exactly. And How I much got, you got left? I got just a little bit, just okay. a little bit. All right, let's go in here with our all-purpose flour. Same amount. Now I'm gonna fluff it up. And that's the semolina. It's not the full lina. It's just the semolina. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't tear it out. Well, that's okay. Just go to uh, eleven point four. Okay, you remember that. I will. We're at nine. One more. There we go. Ten. Got to get up to eleven. Oh no! Oh, What happened? I don't know. I never seen one go off in the middle of weighing. Oh no! And you tore it off. So where 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 we're, we're at about ten point two. So we need how much more? Well, we were headed to eleven point four. So we need we're one point two more. Okay. Yeah. So we got to do quick math. Yeah. That last part there was courtesy of the Tennessee public school system. Oh. What? I oh, know that's right. We want yeah, 1.2. We want 1.2. You're almost there. there we Perfect. Go. Right there. Oh, Lord have mercy, y'all. We've had a time with this. But we're going to get it. We're going to make lasagna. Homemade lasagna. I don't know about you, but having to boil those lasagna noodles and, and do that just really stresses me. It's the reason I don't make homemade lasagna. That is the reason that we've always eaten Stouffer's lasagna because it's good and if you eat it go for it if you don't want to make your own pasta go for that too i'm not here to judge because i've never done this this is just something i've thought for a long time i'd like to make some pasta just think it would be fun to do so we're going to have fun whether it's any good to eat or not yeah well i mean you can always you know you could always just be play-doh True. With it. True. But it's got eggs, and if kids eat the raw eggs, it might not be good for them. Well, you don't eat it. You just make like snakes and dinosaurs. Yeah, but kids eat Play Doh. Did you not know that? Yeah, I guess they do. I guess it would be adult Play Doh. Okay. It'd be only for grown ups to play. Only for grown ups to play. All right. So if y'all buy Stouffer's, Stouffer's lasagna and that's what y'all eat at your house, you're my kind of people because I do that all the time. That's what I've done forever. It's not real expensive. To make lasagna can be a very expensive task. You buy all your different cheeses. It's different. It does taste good. But it's not something I do very often. Just believe you me. Because it's a lot of work. And you know me, I like quick, easy things. And sometimes I keep that Stouffer's lasagna in my freezer just for nights that I don't want to cook. Or yeah. maybe oh, something's going on. or Who knows? You never know. Well, sometimes you want to break from frozen pizza so you have frozen lasagna. That's true. Yeah. And you know Aldi has good little frozen pizzas. They're just like 2 uh -huh. or $3 a piece. Yeah. And we really like them. They're just dirt cheap, but they're good yeah. for lunch. Yeah. They don't have a yeah. whole lot of stuff on them. Sometimes I'll add more stuff to them. Sometimes I don't. This depends. All right, now we've got our eggs and our flowers in here. Can y'all see this? I think you can. Turn you that yeah. way just a little bit. And we're just going to pulse it until it becomes a dough. See? See? It's becoming a dough. See, this is doing good. I think when you did four eggs, the, the, the machine there might have been just a tiny bit overload. Could have been. Let's see how even and shiny that looks like. It doesn't look at all. Alright, 
There you go. How easy is that, y'all? That's easy peasy, right? Now then, you're supposed to wrap it in in wrap. Well, that's when you let it rest. And then you let it rest. But we've already rested some. That's right. We've already rested some, so we can go ahead and get on with this program. Okay. Yeah. So this right here, and if it's too sticky, you no, just get you a little bit of flour on your hands. Just kind of get the stickiness off of it. Just, just a sprinkle. All right, here we go. We're gonna wrap this baby up just like this. Here we go. It's just right. wrapped up. Now then, I'm gonna lay it over to the side because it's the one we made yeah. after the fact. It, it, it hasn't and rested. It's, it's still a little out of breath. It's tired. It's got to rest a little bit before it can go back to work. So now then, we've got our pasta roller, pasta maker, pasta machine, pasta press, whatever y'all want to call it. Lift up over here on the other side of the counter on the bar side because that's well, on We got to get the camera over there without showing the dirty dishes in the sink. Oh, we can turn it off. Oh, I, that's clever. I know. I'm Maybe smart I shouldn't like have that. mentioned the dirty dishes. I always have dirty dishes and y'all see them a lot of times and you know I've always got a sink full of dirty dishes, right? I do. That's just me. I have dirty dishes. Right, here's our dough. All right. I was told once that if a girl invites you over for a home cooked meal, you should check to see if there are actually dirty dishes in the kitchen because she may have ordered it from somewhere and then just put it on a plate. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, you so all can dirty tell. Dirty dishes are a sign if you know she's actually a cook. Yeah. Okay, there you go. I've got all kinds of dirty dishes. Always do. And dirt and good cooks always make a mess, and I'm always making a mess, so you know how to be a good cook, right? Yeah. Huh? All right, let's go over here and make us some lasagna noodles. All right, I won't let y'all see this sink full of dirty dishes. Let's see what we got going on here. See if you right. can see good. Uh, can y'all see? I've washed my hands on my petted in dogs. All right, so what do I do now? Is, well, I don't know yet. I'm There's trying, a dog, to, trying to get us where we can, where we're in here good. I mean, see everything. All right. I'm wondering if I ought to, I've wiped this off. But we do need some flour. Let me grab that. All right. And I'm going to get a flour sack towel to help with the mess. Okay. 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 Hope I don't pass it out. Alright. What's going on in there? That's the washing Wash machine. machine. Okay, I got you. Alright, here we are. We have one drying rack that, you know, I was too dumb to put together. He had to figure out these pieces were on top of these. One little pasta roller thing. This came with a ravioli maker. Look at this. And it makes little raviolis. Cool. We're going to do that too in a few minutes. Yeah. And yeah. our pasta roller and our cutter to make linguine, yeah. fettuccine, yeah. spaghetti, yeah. all that good stuff. Yeah. And I'm trying to get y'all to y'all see good. I'm not having too much success here. Maybe that's Yo, good. Yeah. Right. Let me move this out of the way. Can we see okay. good? I think we're good. All right, now then, this is what we're going to do with our flour. Do we put it on the towel? Yes. I thought you'd put it on like a cutting board. Uh, not me. I don't have one big. Well, I do have right. one. I should have gone. still on camera. Yeah. 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 He's going to be our cranker. Yeah. I was really good at this. We're just, we're I could have got my pasta. Make an ice cream. Yeah. All right, now then, I'm just gonna do that right there. Okay. Lay this over here and wrap it back up so you can, you can take another little nap. And you wanna get flour all the way around it, okay? You just want it to be 
just kind of mash it out with your hand a little bit. Now, are we on the thickest setting? I never saw Bobby Clay do this. Okay. Oh. No, I think you. I think they just got closer together. You gotta get okay, away yeah. with it. There I see you go. it now. I see the numbers. There you go. All right. Now then, let's just start rolling. Maybe I was rolling too fast. Well, I think maybe it's too fat. Okay. So I'm going to mash it out a little bit more. All right, let's try it now. can't start and stop you gotta you gotta be all right you want to just keep doing that <coughs> folding it Excuse over me, fold it over in thirds just like that pop it right back in there that's the way she did it that's the way we're doing it because all good pasta comes from Australia everybody knows that oh it does <laughs> I mean, clearly. That's right. <laughs> Australia is the pasta capital of the world. Okay. Maybe she's got Italian heritage roots or something. Maybe, I don't know. And you want to roll it through with this thickness, it says six, seven times, and you just keep folding it over. Can y'all see what I'm doing? I think you can. Pop it back in there. I bet that's what form those, forms those gluten bonds. Yes. I always wonder, like, who came up with this originally? What was the whole, like, did somebody, you know, say, like, you know, if we ground that into flour and then mixed it with some eggs and rolled it out, who, I mean, you know. Just come, come and about. you want to be sure you keep flour on it so it doesn't stick in How here. many are we on now? Is this I six or seven? We'll, we'll keep going for another minute. Okay. Is it hard to crank? It's getting a little harder. You can tell the difference. That's the reason I was curious because clearly the dough is changing and I don't know if you can overwork it. I don't think so. Okay. Maybe this is drifted. You think? But yeah, no, that would actually make it easier to crank, though, not harder. Right. Now we're going to take it down one notch. Okay. And we're going to go through here like this. Okay. Without doing it in thirds. Yes. That's, is that supposed to be a lasagna noodle? Yeah, kind of. Now we're going to turn it down again. But I mean, isn't it? Aren't lasagna noodles cut like in a? No, these are lasagna sheets. Sheets, okay. There we go. That's starting to look like something. Yeah. Okay, let's go again. All right. I don't know the thickness we should have it. Do y'all know that? I don't know. That's on three. Let's, I think we need to take it on down. Yeah. All right, let's try this. Do, do our instructions say? Mm -mm. Our instructions do not say. Mm -mm. All right, let me see if I can find some instructions. Y'all, hold on. All right. Here it says, uh, oh, and this recipe right here that I pulled off calls for salt. And the girl I watched did not put salt in hers because she said salt will make this rust. So, and that made sense to me. So. I didn't put salt in mine. 
makes sense to me too. Okay, and you want it to repeat the next, you want to go till it's stopping at, at six or the second to the last one. Okay, so that was on five. So we got, no, mine goes all the way up to nine. So we got to go a couple more times. Okay. You ready? Yep. you could crank and actually still be able to pull that out without it all sticking together? I don't know. It's a big old long needle. Actually, I think I'm going to cut it in two. Yeah, I was about to suggest that same thing. Well, or maybe just go ahead and cut it in that width. Okay. Now then. Let's take it down to eight. Okay, this will be our last go through. All right. All right, there's one uh -huh. noodle. So we got to dry that on a drying rack. Yep, okay. Improved drying rack. All right. all right, now for lasagna noodles, that's all we have to do. Okay. For lasagna. Yep. All right. All right, so now what are we gonna do? Now we're gonna finish making noodles for our lasagna. Oh, okay. All right, so we're gonna keep going with this, y'all, and we'll be back shortly when we get all of our lasagna noodles made. Okay, well, we're over here at the stove now. We're getting ready to make our sauce sauce thank you our sauce and i do this pretty much like i do my spaghetti sauce we're going to start with some onions and yes these are our frozen onions that i freeze and how many you put in there a couple handfuls okay you know we just wing it here we don't right. we don't follow too many recipes you know, Mama never had a recipe for stuff. She just started throwing stuff in. Yep. So that's the way I do. My nose is itching off. All right, now then, we're going to add in this. You used to ask Mama stuff right there. How much do I put in? We need to put in enough, but don't put in too much. That's right. All right, okay. so here we go. That's, that's, that's. we got our onions in there. And then we're going to add in. This is about a pound and a half third a half not really pound and a half about a pound and a quarter to a third of ground beef and about a third of a pound of sausage or two thirds of a pound of sausage oh you freeze them together yeah okay uh-oh i gotta answer this all right go ahead all right okay we've got our ground beef our sausage and our onion we're just going if you don't have one of these little things you ought to get I got one mine's got five I know some of them do mine's like you know well the thing is though mine are kind of thin so, and and they it flexes so you have to like work really hard to get oh, it to okay. so, so that one actually might work better it might. because it's thicker you know I just get stuff like this I just get whatever they got at home goods I see all my little kitchen tools like this come from TJ Maxx or Home Goods. Oh, okay. And so I just get whatever they've got there. Okay. Occasionally I'll order something like this off of Amazon, but not very often. So I'm sure this probably came from TJ Maxx or Home Goods. You know, they got that, uh, I've, uh, 
I've seen videos of it. They got that little robot that you can stand in the pot and it oh, will it break stirs. up the ground beef and stir stuff. Yeah, and things. I've seen yeah. those. I actually yeah. thought about that for making boiled custard that year at Christmas. I think I made six or eight gallons of boiled custard. And you had to stir it the whole time. Yeah, and you can only make it a half a gallon at a time. So this year I bought me a big pot I can make a whole gallon at one time. Oh my goodness. I know, it's just wonderful. A bowl of custard. Yeah. Big All double right. bowl. Alright then. Alright, this is getting all chopped up. What do you up do now. with the bowl of custard? Just drink it, eat it with a spoon. Andy loves it. Well, it's good. It's like uh it's like super thick eggnog. Yeah, I'm not a fan of eggnog because it's not cooked and it's got eggs in it. Well, bowl custard does too, has egg yolks. I thought they might was good. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I just know that I like good custard. Well, I mean, it's not going to make you sick. You just got to put enough whiskey in it. To oh, gotcha. That's the thing. Yeah. To kill any bacteria that's in there, and then you're fine. Okay, back to our sauce. This is why we do spaghetti sauce. Did I in the video? Uh... You are? Oh, I mean, it's okay if I'm not. I, just um, don't, know. I don't think I was either, I real good. Now I didn't we are. Fix my hair. We're in there, but I'm going to turn them down here so they can watch this sauce because they okay. like to see in the pots. Well, yeah, I think that's important. So now y'all see in the pot there. This is the onions and the meat. And the meat. Meat and onions. Do you strain this? Nope. You don't strain nope. it? Nope. It's not got that much fat in it. Oh, okay. That's mostly just water out of the onions that you're seeing. Oh, okay. Mostly just water out of the onions. 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 As Chef Jean-Pierre says, onion. If y'all don't watch him, you should. He's funny. J Justin Wilson used to say it that way, too. Onions. Cajun. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, now then, we're going to add my home can tomato puree. Look how thick that is. Yeah. And I'm going to add... Why the lid fall off? Oh, it's sealed. Okay. See? Here it pops. Alright, we're going to add two quarts of that. Smell that. Smell that good fresh tomatoes. It does, doesn't it? Alright, there's it one. It does. It smells good. There's nothing in it but tomatoes. To. Nothing but tomatoes. No salt, no nothing. Just tomatoes. And they hold on tomatoes. Yep. Here's another one. Alright. Alrighty. I'll throw these two seals away because they've been used. And we're going to stir that in. I'm going to put y'all on hold here just a minute. And I'm going to change the battery because otherwise you're all going to die on me. And I don't want dead audience. Okay, here we're back. We didn't go far, but I kept y'all alive. I put it alive. I put y'all on some life support. Gave y'all another battery. All right, here we go in with one little can of tomato paste. Just one. Just one. You know, you can always just open up the back and then just push I it know, down. but I don't. Okay. I saw a brown do that. I've seen other people do that. But that gets it clean, see? I got it all out of there. Every little drop. Okay. Every drop. Yeah, now you gotta wash that thing though. That's all right. It goes in a dishwasher. Is that what that's for, to, to clean out your tomato paste can? That's what I use it for. Okay. All right, now then, we're gonna go in there with some Italian, no, this is oregano. We're gonna put in, maybe I'll measure for y'all, cause I know y'all like measurements. Let's go two tablespoons. Two there we tablespoons. go. Okay. Two tablespoons of oregano. To start. You can always put more. Oregano. Yeah. Or you can scoop, leave some of it out if you don't have that much. Yeah. This is just plain old Italian seasoning. Just all the goodness. What the Italian herbs over there? We're going to add that in a minute. Oh, okay. So I'm going to go to... How's Italian seasoning different than Italian herbs? I don't know. This has different seasoning. things in it. Doesn't the Italian seasoning have oregano in it? Mm. 
Do you need more extra oregano? And that's actually real oregano. That's not code for something. No, that's real oregano. Okay. All right, we're going to go in with a tablespoon of garlic powder. She can't have too much garlic. Can't have too much garlic. Well, just all the I mean, if you're a vampire. It's true. All right, now then, this we can't measure. We just go with however much we've got here. I'm going to turn this down. And we're just going to start grinding this in there. And I love this. It comes from Sam's. And it's just an Italian herb grinder. Can y'all see? And this has got a little bit of crushed red pepper. I'll tell you what it's got in it tells you. Garlic, salt, onion, spices, dried chili pepper, which is the red peppers, oregano, rosemary, marjoram, thyme, and sage. Okay, so y'all know what it's got in it there. Well, that just that looks fabulous. Yeah, and it is fabulous. It looks it looks very Christmassy. And it's got the red it freezes green. very well. Okay. I always make a great big pot full, and we don't eat but about a third of it, and then I and put the other two good. thirds in the freezer. So we need a quick week not. Oh, uh, we'll just eat spaghetti kind of thing. I just have to thaw it out. I see. So it, it freezes away, it cooperates. Yes, it does. It doesn't like fight you getting in the bag. It don't freeze me. I put it, it in soup cubes. Oh, I see. Or silicone. Uh -oh. um, freezer molds. Okay. And y'all can see, I'm just grinding away. If you want to count the twists, have at it. But I'm just grinding some of this in there. Smells good. It is very good. Can y'all smell this? I don't know if they can or Probably not. Probably not. Let's see if I can get something here to brush this out with this a little bit. Oh, is this for the different, make it different sizes? Yeah, and I like it mine thin or okay. small. Small. I like it to be herb dust. Yeah, kind of. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit there and see if I can get some more to come out a little bit better. There you go. All right, we're gonna go with that. Like I said, y'all know I don't like to measure. I just go with what I see and feel. And so that's about what we've got going on right here. Now for the most part, this is done, okay? But we're not gonna use all this in our lasagna. So I'm not going to put cream in all this. Oh, you'd only put the cream in the lasagna portion. Yes, I do not put cream in the spaghetti portion. Oh, we do need a pinch of sugar. Okay, and how long do you let that thing, like cook down? Yeah, it's ready to go right now. It is? Okay. Right I thought maybe you thickened it up some. spoon and a half of sugar. That's just to cut down the acid in the tomato some. Alright. Just don't really taste sweet, but it just kind of cuts the tomato yeah. acid just to, just actually, add a little bit. It actually makes it taste a little bit like a uh, little more tomatoey. Yeah, it just mm -hmm. enhances it. All right, now I'm gonna taste it and see if it's got enough salt and all that kind of stuff. Cause you all know you have to taste as you cook. It needs some salt, a little bit. Especially since our noodles don't have any salt in them. That's about a teaspoon of salt. Let's taste it again. Give me a spoon. I want to see what it's All right, you taste it. Tell me if it needs anything. All right. Is it 
good. Alright, all right. So now then, since we're not going to use all that in our lasagna, I'm going to put some of it in a bowl. Okay. Right, actually. You know, what, cool down? Yep, I'm going to put it in the bowl and let it cool off. I'm going to turn that off because it's done. And... Put it in that thing. Yep. That's like a little baby lasagna thing. It is. Or bread. Mm -hmm. That'd make a nice loaf of bread. It could. I'm hearing thunder. I think it's getting ready to yeah, stone. Me too. All right, that's about all that's gonna mm -hmm. hold. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Not sure. Still not sure we're gonna need all that. Well. So, you know, we can always all right now then if we need more we can always add that back into this okay now then we're gonna and I've never done this I've seen people do it what's that add the cream to it supposed okay. to just make it really velvety yes yeah. so here we go just winging it y'all I'm gonna try mm -hmm. to measure quarter cup and that might be plenty because I know you don't need an awful lot. Mm -hmm. And then if we don't like it, see we've got plenty over there left. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see what that did for it. Oh, another spoon. No. Oh, well, you can drizzle it there. Yes. Is it good? Yes. It is good? It is good. Take a taste. Mm -hmm. Burn my mouth. Oh, I'm sorry. Here. Let it cool a minute. Mm. Might need just a little bit more. A fourth plus a tablespoon. Since you put the cream in it, you might not need as much sugar. True. That's good though. It's good. good. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go with that. All right, I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator, and I will meet y'all back over here when we start. When we get ready to start putting this together here in just a minute. All right, we're over here at the counter now, and as you can see, I have a bowl. I have some Parmesan cheese. I have some Asiago Parmesan and Romano so cheese. cheese blend. Yes. And I have some ricotta cheese. You can we're use cottage more. cheese. That's for salads and more. We're oh, making yeah. more. Yeah, we're doing the more. Okay. Yeah, you're right. And I've got an egg. Okay. So, here we go again. You know I don't measure. We just wing it. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to measure. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. We're gonna see if I can get this measurement. Because these people like measurements. They want a recipe. Which I don't have recipes. I just cook. I'm just keeping it real here. Yeah. This is the way I cook. Okay. Put that opened up. All right, we're going to start with a cup of ricotta cheese. Like I said, I, I, I'm not good at measures. I just go with, that looks good. That's about a cup. Wow. Give or take. Yeah. That's a 
That's a cup. Yeah, a little bit picking up, and then you didn't have some on that other side. So, right. Yeah. So that's about a cup. It evens out about right. That's about a cup of ricotta yeah. cheese. You use cottage cheese if that's what you like. Have at it. All right. Now this, let's go in with about. That's a half a cup. Now we'll go with the whole cup. Okay. We'll go another half. That's why you got to shop at Sam's because you. You know, if you bought the regular size like you get at the grocery store, it'd look like a whole lot of Parmesan. That's right. All right, there's that. We're going to set that over here out of the way. Now then, we're going to go in here with some of this. Shaved blend of all this goodness. Yeah. It's Italian goodness. It's, it's for mm. salads and more. So we're doing more. Yeah. We're going to need a whole cut, maybe was, a little that's, more. That's unexpected. I was expecting the shaved blend to go on the top. Well, it's going on the top, too. Oh, okay. Along with this fresh mozzarella that I've had in the freezer that's now fresh frozen. Okay. And we're going to add an egg in here to hold this all together. Okay. There we go. All right, now then. That, that bowl's not nearly big enough. I don't even know why they make bowls that size. For soup. For soup? Yeah. That's only if you want a little bit of soup. Yeah. Okay. Can y'all see that? Y'all say you want to see. Get down in the bowl. Come down here. There you go. Can y'all see that? It's just mixing together and holding together. Mm. Just perfect. All right. I forgot one thing. Let me get out of the fridge right We need some of this shredded mozzarella cheese. I'm going to get this that's shredded up. Okay. And I'm just going to sprinkle that on the layers. Do we have enough cheese? Do you think we need? We, we, I've got more. Should we Don bring, some, bring us some more cheese? No, we, i got more. And I, I got can more check out with the neighbors the see if they got some cheese. We don't have neighbors. We're sure? in the middle of nowhere. All right. Well, I mean, even in the middle of nowhere, you still got, everybody's got neighbors. They're just further even away. Even they're all farmers. That's true. All right, there's our, that feeling. All right, now then, let me get something over here to put our hot pan on, our hot pot. There we go. Here's our sauce. All right. Yummy, yummy. All right, now the way we're going to do this is a right. little bit of sauce. We're going to add a little bit of sauce to the bottom of this. That's right. A little bit of sauce. Okay. Just like so. I don't think we'll have enough sauce. I'll make some more. Okay. All right, now then, you remember we did our noodles, our lasagna noodles. That was the whole purpose of this. You watched us yeah. do a couple of them. Here they are. You're just going to lay them in here just like this. Let me grab this knife right here. Just cut them off just like that. Okay. Look at that. Well, that's just impressive. I know. Isn't it though? There we go. We're just going to layer those noodles right like that. Now then, we're going to layer some of this cheese. Might have to get me a little spatula. I can get it for you. Where are they at? The bottom, um, it, bottom cabinet, over, top shelf, center. No, over, over one. Over? In the center. Over one basket. This basket? Yes. Okay. Will that work? Yep. Okay. Actually, I'm doing okay with this spoon here. Did this come from TJ Maxx? Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. See this? I don't know if y'all can see good or not. I'll bring y'all over here and then maybe you can see down in there a little better. How's that? Yeah. All right, now then. We're going to 
gonna go in here with another noodle. Noodle, 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 noodle. You don't, noodle. You don't put sauce on top of the cheese? Nope, because I like lots of noodles. Okay. So, be very I like lots of noodles. All right. Okay, these have been drying. Some of them are a little more dry than others because I kind of had them layered up there a little bit. Okay, so. now then we're we'll going with some more sauce. And we may not have enough sauce, but that's you. okay. We can add cream to some of that other and we'll have plenty. Won't we? I reckon. Oh, I forgot to put the mozzarella on that bottom layer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's add it right here. It's ruined, No, let's just add Sorry, it Sorry, right y'all. We'll try this again next time. Uh, we're going to wing it. <laughs> we're just going to add it right in here. Okay. Just like this. Y'all, you just make this Does up as you go what, along. Does it matter what order your layers are in? No, not really. Mm -mm. Just get them layered. Okay. Okay. Just going to fold that over. Oh, all right. Because you like lots of noodles. Because we like lots of noodles. Yes. Okay. That one's a wide piece. I'm going to save that one to do our raviolis. We're going to make some raviolis here in just a little bit, y'all. There you go. That's another good wide piece. Let's lay it over there. Here, lay those up big wide ones over there out flat so okay. they can make our raviolis. There we go. This one's not as wide. more of this cheese right here. right here kind of spread out where everybody's happy happy with cheese on them you know all of our noodles need a little cheese show mm -hmm. them all a little bit of love here all right go. there we go okie doke we'll go back this direction with this noodle Y'all see I'm doing them separate directions so that everybody gets to be happy. I think it's important for everybody to be happy. I think so too. There we go. Especially in your direction. Now, yep, we're going to have to have some more sauce. Can you reach right there behind you and get that cream? All right. Now, I'm not cold. measuring this. I'm just winging it. Oh, whoa. We just went in there with some cream. Yeah, that part's creamy. Hey, it'll all mix up together. Yeah, they'll be creamy. It'll all mix together and they'll all place them nice together. This will be just a happy little playground. It will. Mm hmm. It will. All right. Now then, we're about to overflow our pan here, y'all. Yeah. All right. Okay. 
Yeah. All right, now then. More cheese. More cheese. We're going to use what we got here. We don't have an awful lot. Have you made the same cheese mixer before? No, I have not. It's new for this. I recipe. just wing it. All right. spread out a little bit so it's not all in a clump just equally distributed because yeah. you're going to put this mozzarella over I am I'm going to put some more sauce right here too because we've got a little bit more sauce spread some more cheese over here Ah, uh, we'll just go with that okay y'all if you get this piece I'll try to get you some more cheese I was going to use the other. We'll put us a little bit of this though, just for, just for the fun of it. This, that's what you Yeah, going I was going to, but I've already started this, so we're going to use a little bit of that. Okay. And then we're going to see if this, this is frozen hard as a rock, y'all. Mm. Let's see if we can. Don't hurt yourself over there. Open it like this. If your hands aren't too slippery. It's supposed to already be sliced, y'all. Bring y'all out to here. In case I cut my arm off, y'all can see me. It doesn't look sliced. It is. You can barely see. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I'm hopeful that I can go in there with this knife and it'll just break apart. It's, uh, yeah. Something Maybe. like that. I'm just have to kind of cut it, but you know, hey, that's mm -hmm. okay. All right, I'm going to cut this up and then we'll be right back. Okay, I did not cut my arm off. I did fall that in the microwave for just about 10 minutes. Uh, about 30 seconds or so this is what it looks like we're going to pop it in the oven here in just a little bit and this is what we're going to have for supper i cannot wait to taste it and taste these yummy homemade noodles yum 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 all right i'm going to set it over here and we're going to be back here in just a minute and we're going to mix this up some ravioli okay i'm back over here at the stove never made ravioli didn't know this pasta thing I ordered had a ravioli maker but it does so you know what we're gonna do we're gonna make some ravioli into my pots going some onions and then I'll start with onions that's just the way I do things and then I've got some chicken right here right here it is I'm gonna cut it up a little bit Just so it'll fit in there and cook a little quicker. That's basically two chicken breasts. Okay. I don't see right here. I'm just going to whack this up just like this. Just so it'll cook quicker. I'm not having to, I can just like stir it about. I'm waiting on the hubby to get home with our spinach. Because we want spinach, chicken and spinach. 
ravioli. Doesn't that sound good? And we're going to make it with an Alfredo sauce. Uh, doesn't that sound yummy? I thought it did, so that's what we're doing. You know, if you're the cook, you get to make what you like. If you're not the cook, you just have to eat whatever somebody else cooks. Cut up a little bit. We'll throw that in there. I'll throw this over here in the sink with a little bit of Clorox. Cause we've got to get this all cooked. We just added some salt to it and some pepper. If I can find the salt and pepper, here it is. Uh, teaspoon of salt. And maybe half a teaspoon of pepper. Just however much you think you like what we're going to go with here. And we need some butter. Mercy. We've got to have some butter. I'm forgetting we need butter. How can I forget the butter? You know, it's a crime to forget butter in the sound. That's about three tablespoons. Let's throw that in there. Right like that. Because that's what to make this good and yummy. Yummy, yummy. Now we're going to season this up with some garlic. Just a little bit of garlic powder. Salt, pepper, garlic. That's all we got on it. to cook up and then we're going to put it in the food processor and blend it puree it real fine make it really you know real creamy like and we'll add some cheeses to it when it goes in the food processor and that's going to make our filling but we've got to get it all cooked up first because you don't cook the ravioli long enough to actually cook the filling the filling needs to be fully cooked and just be reheated okay Y'all, I'm not following the recipe for this because I couldn't find one that I thought I would like. So I'm just making it up as I go along. Y'all know I do that, don't I? Okay, here's our chicken. It's all cooked down now. It's just browning. It's getting a little bit caramelized, which is what we want. We want it to be caramel colored. Make just that nice brown butter flavor. Just stick with it. Oh, it just makes it so good. Alright, I'm going to turn it off. And add some of this cheese up here. It's just that three cheese blend that I use in a lot of things. I'm just going to go about a cup for About a cup. About a cup. And let's add some of this mozzarella right here. About a half a cup. Processor. 
y'all back here just a little bit. Now, can y'all see in here? We're just gonna take this. Oh, goodness. My stove is clean and I'm clean. <laughs> y'all, this is slippery chicken. I got a mess to clean up. Yes, I do. A big old mess. added the cheese in the food processor but you know what we live and learn don't we we live and learn got cheese going down the side here all right now then everything's turned off let's go over here can y'all see in there Look at that. See how that's just really a little bit of this ricotta cheese. And we need our spinach, but hubby's not home yet. Yeah. Let's see about that much. Spoonful. Like that is really, really good. Really good. Okay, when Hubs gets here with our spinach, we'll make us some ravioli. Okay, we're gonna see if we can make some ravioli here. I know you put one like this. Okay. One like this. And then how do you put the other one? And you put the other one like this. Okay. I guess, let's, let's look at these directions here. Those are so informative and detailed. I know they are. Oh, we've got some pictures, y'all. All right. Well, pictures are worth, look how many thousands of words that's worth. Oh, yeah. I just want to see this. Okay. This one goes like this. And then you just, uh, you you just dump the filling, filling in, in here. Like this. Mm. Okay. And then you crank it. What do I do with my crank? Right there. goes. You're ravioli-ing right now. Oh, I am. Let's put some more filling in there. All right, what happened? We're going to see right here. Okay. This is what happened. Look at that. Isn't that just the cutest? It is, but now how do you cut them apart without them coming open? You're supposed to be able just to break them apart, which I suppose you can. Just like that. Okay. You just tear them apart, just like that. Okay. Well, isn't that just the neatest thing? It's pretty neat. Well, I'm just, I like this thing. I can see me making lots of raviolis and freezing them and then okay. just getting them out whenever we want some ravioli. Yeah. Easy peasy. All right. Pull those off. Now your filling's all cooked, right? Filling, so, everything in that filling is cooked and ready to go. So then when you, all you got to do is drop those in a pot. Yes, and boil for them like for about a, three to five minutes. Okay. From frozen. Let's give that a shot. Uh, and then we're going to make happens. us some sauce. Let's finish them up here because uh, okay. our pasta's getting dry. Yeah, it is. We're going to go with this one because I think okay. it'll be fine. Okay. You see like this one. It's got a little edge on it. Yeah, you just pull that off. Well, no, you could leave it. Be you very could. rustic looking. See? You could, you could. And I guess if your pasta is not as dry as this, all your little edge pieces you can just take and resheet it. Yeah, you could. Yeah. 
Now you're supposed to take this little wheel thing that cuts it the right size, you all. This one goes in like this. You, just or you, you know what you could do is just lay a sheet across so that the middle falls down in. You're filling on and you crank and filling on and crank. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. instead of needing two sheets, you just have the one that the machine is folding in half for you. Hmm. You could. You could. I think that'd be brilliant. Piece. Okay. Like this right here. And just keep going with it. Will it seam them together? Uh, right we're going to find out. All right. Uh, you know, this is all new to me. See, that's what we do here, folks. We make the mistakes that you don't have to make. That's right. Oops. It's like that. Remember that Saturday Night Live skit where people, they were running like a FedEx company, but they, they never delivered any packages on time. Oh. But basically, you, you took your packages to them when you were already too late, so they just took the blame for you. Good to know. Like, it's too late. Bring it to us. Clean out, and I'm going to put this in behind that one. They make the mistakes so you don't have to. Okay. Some of these are not perfect, y'all, because mm -hmm. my stuff is... My sheets are not the perfect size, y'all. Just have to... There you go. You about got it. Yeah. That one's not wide enough, I know, so... as it dries it wants to break on you yeah so. you could maybe have like a little bottle of water water and, and uh, you know a little spritzer yeah well we probably shouldn't have let it dry it all day I mean this has been sitting here drying yeah. out all day y'all okay so I think you need to do this when it's not dry. You don't want to let your pasta dry when you're going to make raviolis. All right, let's see what we've got here. All right, that's, that's a bunch of them. Yeah, some of them are not too good, but... Some of them are perfect. Yeah, that one's not too good. But hey, it will eat. Especially if you just put it in a dish. With, Cover it with sauce. Yeah, you, now you're not going to boil them, so. Yeah. Well, except for, you know, a second or two. No, you wouldn't boil it at all. You just pop them in the oven. Oh. With sauce. Oh, I see. Make you some Alfredo sauce, because this is the chicken, kind of chicken Alfredo. Make you an Alfredo sauce with spinach and, and just you, pop them in it. You expect then that it would cook in the sauce? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Isn't this just neat? I just like this. Y'all could fill this with anything. You don't have to use chicken. Mm. Use beef or pork or a combination of everything. You could do, make shrimp M &Ms. ravioli. Make M&M ravioli. Mm. Put some M&Ms in there. Yes, you could. Chocolate ravioli. Yeah. Make a dessert ravioli, make it like that, and put chocolate sauce in the middle, and then sprinkle it with powdered sugar. Fudge, yeah. Dang, that fudge would in be good. Well, there you go. All right. Well, I 
now since we don't have our spinach I'm just gonna actually just so we would have done this earlier had it not been for the promise of spinach, spinach. okay see that's the thing that's the reason I never liked vegetables I see vegetables as things that just cause problems. Look at this, y'all. Look at them. They're just sealed up. Don't they look cute? Mm -hmm. I just love them. Okay, I'll definitely be making more raviolis, and I'll do it with y'all when I've got the... Um, I think that's all the ravioli I'm going to make. I'm going to freeze that filling. And, because uh, I'm going to make some spaghetti noodles. See, this didn't have the backing on it. Yeah, I see that. So. So you probably need to be able to clean your maker somehow. Yeah, which I think you can. Just wipe it off good. Okay. All right, so that's the ravioli maker. There you go. Now we're going to make some spaghetti noodles. All right. Okay. There you go. We're going to make spaghetti noodles, and this is how you do that. Okay, now you can see where it's coming out. Oh, in the wrong, wrong doodaddy thing. In the wrong machine there. Look at that. Look at that. But you definitely do not want to let it dry until you've yeah. cut it. Just gonna make like a little nest right there. And then we'll freeze it just like this. Yeah. Look at that. There's our spaghetti noodles. Alright. Looks like it came right out of the squash. Isn't that where spaghetti comes from? From squash? Yeah, spaghetti squash. Are you going to make any more? Uh, okay, this that's hard is not. Doesn't make good spaghetti. It's not doing anything very well. So we All may right. have lost a little bit of our. This is still kind of pliable. Okay, let's try it. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, I think when it gets too dry, it just wants to crumble. Yeah, that's what it's doing over here. Yeah, yeah it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, are y'all any pasta aficionados out there? Can I just yeah. spritz that with some water? Yeah. And it back to life let's try it. Yeah. See if you can spritz these. Oh yeah. okay. I don't have anything to spritz this, but it's the next best thing. Okay. Hey bugs, get out of here. Just kind of wet it just a little bit with your hands. It might help if the water was a little bit warm. It could. We'll try that. Which it was kind of warm. Okay. Go cold. Yeah. Let's try this one. Yeah. A 
lot of ravioli filling there. I do. Uh, this is not working, y'all. It just does not. All right, well, so much for that. to the trash can all right well we made a few we'll come back i'll bring y'all back when we make more pasta no worries no worries we will make lots more pasta with this we will make it and freeze it we will make it and eat it fresh we will eat it from frozen no worries because i can see me using this little handy dandy gadget quite a bit i'll get me a little brush to get these crumbs out of here Yes, I do. All right. I'll bring y'all back when we got our lasagna out, okay? All our battery's done. Maybe we can finish this up real quick. Our lasagna is done. Look at it. Doesn't that look deliciously yummy, yummy, yummy? I think it does. I'm going to cut this a little bit right here and put it on this plate. We're going to see how it looks. It's been out of the refrigerator for a little, I mean refrigerator, what's the name? Out of the oven for a little bit. So it could kind of, you know, all marry together like lasagna likes to do. Let's see if we can get this out. It's still steaming in the middle though. Let's see if I can get this piece out right here. Oh, yes. Oh. Look at that. All its lovely layers. Let's give it a taste. Here. Let's give it a taste. With our homemade lasagna noodles, homemade sauce. I didn't make the cheese, y'all. That's something I don't anticipate me doing. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're filming. This that's the best lasagna I've ever made. I don't know if it's a combination of the noodles. I think it was me. It could have been. Probably me. Yeah. Or. So if y'all want me to come over any day when you're cooking lasagna just to make sure it comes out okay, you can contact Lynn. Follow her channel. This she is, knows how to get in touch with me. Yeah, this is so good. Look at that cheese on the edge. It's very good. You want to taste? That little piece right here. You want to taste right here? <laughs> Get all the goodness here. All the yummy goodness. All the yummy goodness. Oh yeah, that's wonderful. Yummy, yummy lasagna. And y'all could do it like this and put it together in an aluminum pan and put it in the freezer and all you had to do is bring it out and bake it. Then you've got your Stouffer's in the freezer, homemade, yummy, yummy. It's better than Stouffer's. Oh yeah. I think I will be doing this um, and do a freezer lasagna day and make lasagna noodles and a bunch of sauce and put me two or three pans. I've got them in the freezer then on nights that I'm doing something else. Maybe painting a room or just, mm -hmm. just don't want to get up and I want to watch TV. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Who knows? But there's our homemade pasta, which is really good. It, it really is. I will be making it again, especially for lasagna. Um, and I may have did our raviolis here. We've not baked those yet. Um, I'm gonna put those in the refrigerator for tomorrow's lunch. Um, we'll have that with some Alfredo sauce and spinach. So yes, I think I will take a day just like I do with my dumplings. I make a whole big batch at one time and then I freeze them 
and then I've got dumplings for whenever I need them. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with my pasta. And we'll always have homemade lasagna noodles. So it's been a day of pasta making. I hope this video is not too long. I'll try to cut it down quite a bit if I can. But y'all remember, like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a video. And that'll be all for this one. I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.